How's it going, everyone? It's Zerker, and we are back for the manga haul for the month of July. And to be quite honest with you, I didn't think July was going to end. July felt like it was going to just last forever because it was just so long for me. A lot of work. It was hot. No motivation to do anything because it was hot. So, yeah, here we are now, though. August has begun. Smaller haul than I normally do. Let's get into it and see what we got. Now, before we get into it, I do have a question. And I guess this is going to be my question of the day. So, leave your answers down below. But I live in an apartment. I can only have a certain amount of shelves around before uh, space becomes very very limited basically what do you do when you start running out of shelf space do you just kind of put it in storage uh, do you just kind of start stacking it on the floor i need some ideas here because uh i may i don't know how much longer i'm gonna be here but i'm gonna be here for a little bit longer i need a solution asap all right so we're gonna jump into it with the final two volumes i needed for blam volumes one and three here these are in the master editions and like i said uh, in the previous haul i am so glad i went with these editions rather than hunting down probably the outrageously expensive single versions that are out there but we got all these i can finally read these i'm still on the fence on whether or not i'm going to actually buy the master editions of knights of sidonia or continue to hunt down the singles uh, singles i'm at the point where it's all the super expensive volumes so i'm kind of figuring that part out right now but nonetheless we have all of blam completed now i can read it we're gonna follow that up with the maid i recently hired is mysterious and quite honestly this is probably the last volume I'm going to buy. I will read through this one just to see what is going on. However, it really doesn't do much for me for this series. The anime just released. I think we're like two, three episodes deep into it now. And it's, I was hoping they were going to do, do something more to make it a little bit more exciting, but it's honestly very slow paced. And in my opinion, as boring as this is, we're going to follow that one up with Konosuba, God's Blessing on this Wonderful World, Volume 13. And I believe this series, at least for the, I believe the novel has already ended. And this, the manga version of this should be ending pretty soon i believe i haven't been keeping up too lot on this i actually forgot i even ordered pre-ordered this one because they come out really 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 slow so but yeah i'm a i love konosuba i think it's a great comedy fantasy comedy and it provides like all the laughs i look for so if you ever feel down or like depressed or whatever just go you watch some konosuba go read some konosuba and you'll probably feel better at the end of it blam wasn't the only series i was able to finally get all of the volumes for i was able to finally get since they restocked it finally volume two of girls last tour i caved in about a month ago and started slowly watching it on amazon prime because it is on there but now that i got all of these maybe maybe i'll just start reading it i've been enjoying the anime it's been just a real fun chill like relaxing watch um i'm kind of having a gist of what's kind of going on just from like the first three or four episodes and i've kind of had a theory about what was going on just from the title alone i also understand that this was never completed serializing so the ending has never been confirmed if i'm not mistaken if you know let me know because i have my theory and i don't really want to say it and spoil it for people but it's kind of in the name so looking forward to reading it or i guess i guess at this point finish watching it so this next one has been a series i've just been kind of putting off on getting i wanted to buy it in its entirety at once that way i can just read it and binge through it enjoy it without having to take any breaks and i'm talking about fujimoto's fire punch these are all volumes one through eight and this is his first english release series i know a lot of people liked it a lot of people had some thoughts about it i just been putting it off because every time i went to go look at buying it there was always some sort of volume that was always out of stock i didn't want to just start buying them you know get like three four six seven and then like not have one and two or three on hand to actually read it as i'm getting it so I just waited and waited and eventually the stock leveled out and I was able to get all of eight volumes at once and I can see what all the, I guess, fuss is about with Fire Punch. Yeah, I'm excited for that. Volume 16 of Grand Blue Dreaming. I'm gonna say every time I get this, this is like by far one of the funniest mangas I've ever read. One of the funniest animes I ever watched. And the one thing I absolutely do love about it is it is college people or college age people. It takes place in a college environment. So it's super 
relatable for older people. Even if you didn't go to college, some of the antics that these people do, you will be able to relate to in some way or another. It's not like the high school drama BS that's normally in the manga. This is great. And if you love, like I said, if you love comedy, if you love just crazy over the top, like facial expressions, Grand Blue Dream is it. It's, it's funnier than Konosuba, I think, but it's also not for everybody. I know that too. And we're going to follow that one up with Pleasure and Corruption Volume 5. I believe we got one more volume before this one finishes up. And quite honestly, Volume 5 here was kind of a pain in the ass because it seems like every, once we got closer to the release date, Right Stuff Sent would send an email, oh, we're pushing it back. Oh, Dempo's pushing it back. Oh, we got to push back. I think I got like three or four notifications that I got pushed back. And then, so I kind of just chalked it up as oh it won't be here in july like i was planning it for it to be and then next thing you know i get a package from rice stuff on my door and it's this and some other volumes but should be wrapping up shortly i think six volumes i believe if is what i read a while back so we're all, we just gotta wait for that last one and the last haul i talked about how <laughs> I completely forgot that I was reading Goblin Slayer because it was like in the very back of everything on on a completely different shelf, like out of the way. And I had <laughs> purchased volume 10 thinking I was up to date, but I wasn't and I needed to get volume 9. So here I have volume 9 and now I can finally read volume 10 to see what the hell's going on. Absolutely fantastic world that is plagued with goblins. But yeah, I really enjoy it. Dark fantasy with some... uh. Uh, what do you call it uh D, D elements so really enjoy this which is funny because me personally i do not like D, &D as a person like i do not like playing D, D, but i'm really enjoying goblin slayers so it's it's weird i don't under, i don't understand that but and we got volume two here of census pos lie i'm very intrigued with this i know it's not for everybody uh it's very 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 adult themed and very questionable about some of the actions that these people do but i have been and i enjoyed volume one a lot i may just push it because it's only going to be four omnibus styled volumes coming out i'm hoping volume two can keep up with what volume one provided but we'll have to see so next up we got uh seminal paris Seminal, some some uh girl love samurai monster kaiju manga thing i've been waiting for volume three so that i can read one through three and one or i guess binge one through three to see if this is something i'm going to continue continue with getting uh but yeah like i've been waiting for this one for a while this was locked up with the pleasure and corruption box so it took a while just kind of chalked it up and everything is not coming in july but here it is so now once i get through the stack that i have queued up ready to read then i can crack into this and see what's going on kaiju number eight volume three i actually really enjoy this cover i think a lot of people i've been reading have been enjoying this cover a lot this is going to be the make it or break it for me for kaiju number eight i have been waiting for this volume so i can read through two and three and make my final decision on whether or not i'm going to continue with the series but i did skim through this one uh when i originally got it it was looking very good very interesting it looked like things are starting to pick up and so it, i'm having hopes because i i really want a kaiju manga to read please let this one do something for me we got the volume six of berserk of gluttony this is really just a nice and i've said it every time i've gotten a new volume of this it's just a nice pick up brain off zone out enjoy reading this because it's just so crazy it's not crazy crazy but it's just it's like a power fantasy type of thing like an overpowered fantasy type of thing so it's really just like no brain cells in you just read it and enjoy it and i have been putting this series off this is a series i've been wanting to jump into i watched the anime many many years ago but i've been putting on buying this because i've been baiting on whether to buy the deluxe editions the singles what's going to happen since the author passed away what's gonna happen is somebody gonna take over what's gonna you know what i just waited and waited and wait kept putting it off kept putting it off kept putting it off and eventually i just told myself look you're either gonna start getting into it or you're not i decided to buy the first three volumes of berserk actually glad i went with the singles route because as beautiful and as nice as the deluxe editions are to see on the shelves i love holding the single versions far more in hand than i would the deluxe editions and i believe if I remember reading correctly, the assistant of Kentaro is going to continue doing Berserk, if I remember correctly, or like, I remember reading something like that, or he showed an interest in doing it. I don't know. Either way, I wanted to get into Berserk, you know, because like I said, with when I got Goblin Slayer, it's a fantasy world, and I've been kind of getting more into the fantasy side of reading things so no better option to read than berserk in general and like i said i watched the anime 
that came out in like what was it like 96 98 really enjoyed it so i don't remember jack shit from it anymore so i had to take a dive in these i'll buy these every couple every once in a while and just do it real slow because i think these are going to be continued to keep getting reprinted for a while i follow that up we got slasher maidens this was like a dark sleep like dark horse kind of like sleeper manga for me i didn't expect to really enjoy this one but man when i read volumes like what was it one through three when i originally read those i fell in love with this series and i don't really know how to truly explain everything going on in here because it is so crazy i can say for sure though that the creator of this was the artist for akame got kill so that's one reason i really enjoyed it because i like the art and akame got kill super violent super bloody super gory pays from my very little knowledge of horror films does pay some acknowledgement to those because there are some monsters in here there are some characters that have like certain or unique abilities that portray certain uh, horror film classics like freddy krueger leatherface things of that nature yeah when i kind of put, started putting those pieces together i was like oh i like this why because i i'm not a horror fan i'm not a big horror like fan at all but this has been a very enjoyable read like i said it's not gonna be for everybody because it does push the boundaries it does have a lot of blood and gore a lot of very s sketchy scenes in there so yeah like i said but it, it's an enjoyable read and this is when i forgot i actually even pre-ordered but i did uh, volume 10 of marginal operation i haven't even begun reading this one yet but i really enjoy this cover really like it yeah i don't look <laughs> I haven't even begun reading the series. I already bought 10 volumes of it. And yeah, I need to get through my queue to get started on this one. And it wouldn't be a manga haul if I didn't have some Oshimi work. And we got volume nine of Blood on the Tracks. I am going to wait until this is completely finished before I read it. Because this is one of those where you need to enjoy every volume at once. I guess that's how all Oshimi works, at least for me go. Like I need to have the complete series for me to really, really enjoy reading all of it. So yeah, that's what I'm waiting for. We're going to finish it off with the BAM edition of Don't Toy With Me and Miss Nagatoro. You gotta know by now, I absolutely love Nagatoro. I was actually surprised I could get my hands on this one because I don't even remember why I was on BAM. I, I was looking for something, saw this, I said, what's that? That must be a new volume. But then it just said, you know, the BAM cover exclusive or special edition. And I was like, yeah, yeah, I need that. And <laughs> ordered it. I don't know if this has anything different inside from the original volume one. I highly doubt it does, but nonetheless, I had to pick it up. It's what you do when you're a D-Gen and you love Nagatoro. So yeah, yeah I did that. So this is going to wrap it up for the July manga haul. I am looking at some older series to start buying into again. Uh, a friend of mine on Discord keeps mentioning a series that I have heard about and I have a general interest in getting into, uh, but it's kind of figuring out how to go about finding these volumes because we're finding out how many got released in English and going from there. And a follow up question of the day back to that one was when you running out of shelf space, what are some of your tips and tricks? What do you do with some of the manga? Do you just store it in boxes? Do you just stack it on the floor? What do you do? Let me know down below. I'm Zerker and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.